Dave a new makeup tutorial for you. It's Throwback Thursday here on my channel. If you don't know what that means, basically I just use a throwback or an older makeup palette every Thursday here so we can take it out of our collection and start using them again because people kind of forget about them, you know, with all the new stuff coming out all the time. Using the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I love this palette. It's been forever since I've used it. But also today I kind of wanted to do something different and just fun and colorful and a little experimental, okay? So I know this isn't the most wearable look. Some days you're just in the mood to play around with color and I really didn't think you guys would mind. So I mainly used the Lorac Pro 2 in this tutorial, but there's a few colors that I had to use outside of the palette. I hope you guys don't mind. Just so I can kind of get the overall effect that I wanted. So that's that's what this is and I just really love it. I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. As always, we need to prime our lids. I'm going to be taking the Bella Pierre eyeshadow base with my Sigma P84 angled brush. I'm just gonna blend this all over. Then in the Lorac Pro 2 palette, I believe this is, I'm gonna take the buff shade. Or right on my brow bone, rather. This highlight area. Hmm, it's a little custardy. It's turning a little yellow on me, that's okay. Then grabbing the E25, I wanna take a little bit of light brown. Typical, I know. And I'm gonna work this into the crease here around the shape of my eye there, right around the socket. Just follow your own natural shape. Just running around that socket. As you can see, I'm really just, I take little circular motions and I just keep following around my natural, like, little dip in my eye there. Do you guys watch Hell's Kitchen? Alok and I don't watch it regularly, but last night after American Idol, Hell's Kitchen came on and we were like actually just getting ready to go to bed so we just kind of caught it for a few minutes. Oh my gosh, the chef is so mean! <laughs> I wouldn't last a day. I would not last a day. I think I'm gonna get a little funky here. Just roll with me. Go with it. Feel it. Let's vibe it. This is the NYX Cosmetics Sunrise Blue Eyeliner. Yes! Oh, what do I want to do before I fuck this all up? Alright, I'm gonna take it on the side of the lid here, guys. And then I'm just going to blend that real quick and I also want to seal it and sharpen it in the crease. So I'm just going to run this flat brush right over it and it should buff it out and smooth it evenly. And then on top of that, we're going to go into this navy. It's gorgeous. I love a good navy blue. Go ahead and pat that on the outer half. And that eyeliner should hopefully help it to set and stay a little bit better over there. Ooh, this is such a gorgeous dark blue, you guys. If you're looking for your like perfect midnight navy, this is it. But as you guys know, the Lorac shadows, they do have a little fallout in them sometimes, so you might wanna wait till after your eye makeup is done to do your foundation. I'm just gonna grab this fluffy brush and blend around that blue. This is a Luxie 205 brush. I'm going to take a little bit of the MAC Cosmetics Blue Brown Pigment. I know there's a lot of shadows like this nowadays, so chances are you probably have one in your collection. Or even in a Too Faced palette, there's a lot of this type of color in Too Faced palettes. So make sure you look in there. Take this little shadow brush and get it wet. A little, little of my L'Oreal Setting Spray. And then I'm going to go ahead and dip that into the pigment here. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh yes. <laughs> and then I just want to go ahead and apply that to the inner part of my eye. Right in here. Oh, isn't that so beautiful? And then I want to take a little bit of Urban Decay Sideline. Take that with a little bit of a damp brush too, if I didn't already say so. I'm going to go right in the center with this. Just packing that on until it looks like it's brighter than the blue-brown pigment and you're getting a nice contrast. Isn't that awesome? And then I'm going to take this Urban Decay brush from their Smoky palette, the Naked Smoky. And I'm going to go back into the navy, and I just want to run that along the edge of those shades there. And just kind of round it all out a little bit better. So now I'm taking my Sigma Beauty Line Ace Legend Liquid Liner, which is the black shade, and I'm going to do a thin wing. What do you guys think? I really like it. For primer, I want to take one of my favorites in the whole world. This is the Stila One Step Correcting Primer, and I just love it. It's like that multi-colored type, but it really neutralizes your face. I will just do this one side here, 
so you guys can kind of compare in a second one side of the face to the other. If you have any rosacea, redness, discoloration, sallowness in your skin. Can you guys see how much brighter this side of my face is compared to this one? Like, I think it's just a crazy difference. Next to our foundation, I think I want to do a little bit of mixing. I think I want to do my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Warm Nude with my Revlon Color Stay to kind of balance each other out. Because I want the coverage like the Revlon has, but I don't want the complete matteness. I want a little like livelihood in my skin and I feel like the Too Faced kind of brings it back, you know? And I'm gonna blend that with the F82 brush from Sigma. So pat this on your little faces. And then go in and blend. Next for under eye concealer, I want to take the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Duo. This is in the shade Taupe and Ivory, or Ivory and Taupe. So I'm gonna take the ivory side and I'm gonna run that underneath the eyes. And then blending that in with my Ricky Care NYC Beauty Blender. By the way, I did just order new ones. Like, it still works even though I've ripped it to shreds. I can't help it, I'm very aggressive. And then before all this it gets into a crazy mess, I'm gonna set it with my Airspun Translucent Powder. And I'm just gonna press it in those areas. All those little highlighted spots. I mainly like it just right for underneath the eye because that's where I crease really bad. I have really deep set hooded lids so I tend to get little creases right in here. And then while we're at it, I like to just go ahead and set my nose because I don't really need any other product on my nose. And then just a little on the forehead because I have a little crease there and I feel like the translucent powder kind of stops it from wrinkling up. <laughs> then I'm going to take my Smashbox Photo Filter Powder in the shade number four. I have one of these in the shade number two and one in the shade number four. I know I kind of use both all week long, so I'm sorry if that gets confusing. Four, to be honest, is too dark for me and the two is too light, but I can really get away with both. Do you know what I mean? I'm just touching this all over my face. <laughs> Next, I think we're gonna do bronzer. I'm gonna take Hoola by Benefit Cosmetics. I'm gonna take it with the Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. I've been really liking this brush to get like a really small contour. And of course, add a little bit to the forehead and temple area. It's a great way to kind of fake a tan. And then I also wanna take the amazing F77 Chisel and Trim Contour Brush. Still in the hula, and I want to use this to contour out my nose shape just a little bit. I just like to add it right on the edges there. We are almost all done, you guys. I can't believe it. So I'm just going to dust off any of that translucent powder that we have left around the face. And you'll see it reveals a nicer, smoother, brighter look. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of Dior Show Mascara to prep my lashes. I think we're going to... Yeah, we should have false lashes. And then also in the pro, what color should we do? I just want to take a little bit of cool gray, I guess, for my bottom lash line. Because I don't even know what to put here. Because I love this eye so much, I don't want to overwhelm it with anything. So next I'm going to put on lashes. I wanted to show you guys a starter set from Violet Voss Cosmetics, literally with all these lashes, so it's really exciting. They put out a starter kit that has eight sets of lashes in it for only $62, and it's a $78 value, so it's a really good deal. I think I'm just going to do, but I'm going to do Wisp It Real Good. <laughs> Wisp It Real Good. Yeah, do, 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 yeah. For blush, I'm gonna take Urban Decay's Video Blush. I love their blushes so much. They're really beautiful, so just gonna take a little brush here. And I don't need a lot of color on the cheeks because this is such a heavy eye, but I do want to add some life back into my cheeks here. I also wanna take a little bit of Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill and give myself a little glow. Just right here down the nose. This is an extremely old Ulta Cosmetics fan brush. I also want to take a little bit of this Makeup Forever Star Powder. This is in... I guess they're just numbered too, they're not named, so this is the number. I'll have everything listed down below as usual. This has a really cool, like, blue-purple duochrome. And now for lips, I'm 
first gonna take the ColourPop Cosmetics Lip Liner. This is in the shade Drink. All right, this might be a little too dark, so I might end up switching it. Then I'm gonna take Magic Wand, also by ColourPop Cosmetics. This is the Satin Lip. I'm gonna take a little bit of Anastasia um, Milkshake Liquid Lipstick on top. And that's it for today's tutorial, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and coming back to my channel today and just every day that you do. I really appreciate it. I love seeing your guys' names in the comments and on Twitter. I really do appreciate it. If you're not following me, I'll have all those links down below. So definitely come say hi because anytime I'm not on YouTube, I'm definitely on one of those platforms. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!